Lee, I'm so glad you're here today, and we're going to talk about one of my favorite subjects. Now, I know some people will tell you wallpaper's gone out of style. I love wallpaper, and I love borders, and I like using it, but I wouldn't want people then to walk into my house and say, oh my gosh, that's so out of date and old-fashioned. Why do you have that? So you get asked questions like that a lot in your design business, I bet. Yeah, so wallpaper, um, I can, someone's house and they're like, oh my God, there's wallpaper everywhere. It just depends on the type and style uh -huh. and sometimes people put wallpaper in inappropriate places. No. <laughs> you know, they put paper wallpaper in, in, in an area that um, gets a lot of moisture so it goes mouldy oh. and and, uh -huh. and, um, yeah. and it rips. Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of knowing what paper to put where um, in some instances and, and then the pattern or the design to, to match with the house. So um, it's always good to remember the bones of your house and the overall look of your house and then the design that you're going to put into it. So basically um, older period homes, they really, really suit mm -hmm. having um, wallpaper. Uh -huh. The walls were never as straight as ours oh, are today. yeah, it's a good way to so disguise. So a lot them. of the um, wallpapers that we use do disguise a lot of that. There's a, um, a paper called anaglypta. I'm not sure if you call it that here. Anyway, it's a paper and it's, it's very patterned and then you put it on the wall and then paint over it. And oh. so that's really good if you're renovating or something. And, and it would be. It's used often, um, do you call them a dado or a chair rail? Uh -huh, uh -huh. So you chair put rail. something like that below and it's a lot more textured and it take, it just it, it gives a really good grounding and then put something lighter Ties on Ties it top. together. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. So that, that type of paper is used a lot in, um, in New Zealand. And they used to use it on ceilings too. So they used to have little patterned ceilings. You've probably uh -huh. seen that before. Right. Yeah, well, so when I was growing up, mm. uh, my, we had wallpaper. It was an old house and... and there was wallpaper on the ceiling, the same wallpaper on all four walls. And I remember thinking, I would never have that much wallpaper in my yeah. house. And, and I don't have that much. But the good thing about wallpaper is it can be an accent wall. Definitely. It can be used even in a tiny, like a half bath. Yeah. And you can sort of go wild in some places, whereas you wouldn't want to do that in a huge living room, maybe. Exactly. It's, it's fantastic to use in entrance ways if you want to make a statement because uh -huh. there's so many amazing designs out there now. Um, powder rooms or guest bathrooms mm -hmm. where people are only visiting you know for a short period of time uh -huh. you can sort of go to town with that um, or sometimes uh, if you've got a big long corridor or hallway uh -huh. um, using a wallpaper there is, is it just creates some interest it yeah. does so well, well I think it's yeah. it, to me the hardest parts choosing the wallpaper I want <laughs> so we decided between the two of us that most of us can see things and decide if we like it, and mm -hmm. then we can go to the books and, and, and start picking and choosing. So yeah. if you would, just briefly tell us about, uh, well, I like this because it's a big, bold yeah. wall, ju but just one wall in exactly. that Exactly, and that's what you'd said before about so much wallpaper can be overwhelming. So when you're choosing a wallpaper, having a look at it in a small piece is fine, but when you've got to think about it and closing you in four walls, and it will... It, it can be a bit overwhelming. So here mm -hmm. they have used a really, really bold wallpaper in this bedroom, um, but the walls they've just kept plain. So it just makes a statement behind the bed, and it is very, very dark, but when you're actually in the bed, you're not seeing that, so uh -huh, it's not enclosing. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it just creates a statement. Um, this is, as I said, about corridors um, at, or a hallway, um, just using a really amazing little zigzag there. just creates a really big statement. Uh -huh. And uh, it's only on one wall. It's only on one uh -huh. wall, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this, <laughs> we've, we've talked about indoor plants before. This is a really lovely tropical design, but you see they've only used it above. Above um, the chair rail or yeah, whatever that's yeah. called. Uh -huh. Yeah, and period homes definitely work with, oh gosh, I've jumped. Well, and same thing. <laughs> we, the, yeah, period homes. Um, this one here is very pictorial. Uh, I'm not sure I, I really love the design, but it's a really good example of uh -huh. how wallpaper is used. Um, in these homes, imagine if you just painted that wall. It just wouldn't have the no. same effect. It really does need to uh -huh. have wallpaper, and it does set a, a, star, a certain style and period. This one here... Um, <laughs> and that's a big, bold pattern, too. It is, but uh -huh. it, I love it. I think uh -huh. it's just great. It's, it's just depicting a, a 60s, 70s style. A fun room. A fun it, room. Uh -huh. Great for a kid's playroom or something like uh -huh. that, yeah. Um, and once again, having a period style home. Um, yes, I can't imagine that not having wallpaper no, in that room. No, definitely. Definitely needs uh -huh. it, yeah. So... Um, Something we haven't talked about is um, wall decals now. Uh -huh. um, you may call them wall, ta wall tattooing or wall vinyl or wall stickers. Um, uh, These are all vinyl coated. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Um, and this one here um, has got a design on it, but that's actually stuck on. 
and it can peel and off. And can peel off. Yeah, uh -huh. so it's, it's, it's just one wall and it's created a lovely backdrop for this living room. Uh-huh. Going back to, we've got some kids' wallpaper. So there's uh -huh. just so many designs. You can see from the, the, the designs that we've looked at that the range is just, you know, incredible. But and this um, could also be wall dec uh, uh, decals as well because yeah. then they might, as they grow older, they might... Take them off. Uh -huh, <laughs> change their sports or whatever, so... Yeah, my husband yeah. bought my daughter a, a fairy castle and... Um, she was a bit over fairies by that point. <laughs> I was quite disappointed that she didn't stick it on her wall. Uh -huh. So here you can see how you uh -huh. can make a girl's room look really amazing. Uh -huh. So um, they, they peel off so you can change them with the seasons and <laughs> all their desires. You can get um, uh -huh. superheroes. It's amazing the effect each of the different, different looks from uh -huh. just using a different wallpaper. Well, yeah. This one we saw several examples of in, in the pictures. Anything you want, want us to be aware of or... Um, Beware of. Just, <laughs> well, you know, I was saying that it's a really great place to start for creating a scheme if you've got a really fun wallpaper that you like. Like uh -huh. as I, uh, this one here, is, these two are um, Art like Deco those. designs. Uh -huh. So if you've got a period house, you can find some designs with that period and that really uh -huh. keeps that house um, looking uh, to style, I suppose. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so if you've got an older home, these... This looks like damask fabric. Yeah, it uh -huh. does, does. And it's got that lovely sheen with it. Mm -hmm. And it's, very, it's also got the texture, which will hide a little bit of the um, slightly imperfect walls. Mm -hmm. This one here is a flock. I like this. Uh -huh, yeah, so it's got that soft texture. Uh -huh. And it's got the, um, the, the metallic in behind. Metallic's really big now. But uh -huh. well, I say now, <laughs> things Who change. Knows? Wallpaper yeah. designs come in and out, in and out. They're just constantly changing. It's like fabrics. They change uh, yeah. the same. Uh -huh. And often um, fabric collections have wallpapers that match. These ones here I know have... Um, uh, fabrics that match the wallpaper. That's nice if you're doing an entire yeah. room. Uh -huh. yeah. And what about uh, using the paste? They've certainly improved that process yeah. from when I used to have to mix it up and it would have lumps and things. <laughs> yeah. And it's much easier. And then there are also those that are already pre-pasted. Pre yeah, you just have to soak and uh -huh. and put up, yeah. And the, the, as I said um, at the beginning, I think about paper, um, having paper, pa um, paper, 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 <laughs> <laughs> paper wallpaper in um, kitchens and bathrooms or wet areas. It's definitely a no-no. I went into a hotel once and they had this most beautiful paper wallpaper, but right in behind the where you wash your hands, it was just oh, totally splattered ruined, all the and splashes, mm -hmm. and then where they'd cleaned the it, it humidity just rubbed or off. moisture. Yeah. yeah, so it's knowing what product to use where and if you if you, you don't have to worry about it except go and talk to the people that sell it they know it inside out and you can't uh -huh. know everything well, so it's really important true. to get good <laughs> advice from whoever's selling it to you and tell them where you're going to put it. <laughs> this is a, a yeah. good story because yeah. I, when I saw this, I just loved it. Yeah. And you said you did too, yeah. but and you were going to use it in your home, but your husband didn't like it at all. Ah! So <laughs> thank goodness, you know, we would need those mood it boards that we've heard about uh -huh, so that he could have his say it before just, you spent lots of money. And wallpaper is expensive. Definitely. It is expensive, but it's really worthwhile. And as I said, but you don't have to use it everywhere. Mm -hmm. um, using it as a feature is really popular these days. Mm -hmm. um, um, and it just makes a statement. It's like having a painting. You know? uh -huh, it is. Yeah. A work of art. Not quite as expensive. <laughs> <laughs> but and yeah, same it, thing. it does really create an amazing look and feel. And well, that's the thing. They do have, uh -huh. have textures too. And do you always tell people that if there is already wallpaper in a room, to totally remove that wallpaper, maybe apply kills or something it to just, the wall? It or depends does on, it depend? on mm -hmm. what the wallpaper is and what's mm -hmm. underneath it. And yeah, so I've, I've used it both, done it both ways, yeah. lazy method, you know, just uh, <laughs> uh, putting the new wallpaper on top of the other. And fortunately, I've never had any problems with it, but I've read that that's not always the best thing to do. Yeah, I'm not very good at handyman stuff. So. <laughs> <laughs> I've attempted to do wallpaper once in my life and it was very unsuccessful. So I would be um, asking before I did anything, uh -huh. if I wasn't going to employ someone to do it, I'd be going into the store and saying, look, this is the wallpaper. Need a I've, course. <laughs> this is the wallpaper I've got up. What do you think I should do with it? That's um, a good idea yeah. anyway. And then that mm -hmm. way um, you've got the best advice because mm -hmm. um, yeah, you don't actually know how much other wallpaper is involved. Well, <laughs> that's true too. Done it before you too. Good yeah. thing we learn math in elementary grades because I've found that that comes in handy in everything that we do. <laughs> but thank you so much, Lee, for showing us some new ideas, maybe some ideas that we'd like to repeat. Mm -hmm. And like you say, it comes and goes. Definitely. So uh, just enjoy. I like wallpaper. Don't Other be people don't. And, uh, and, don't. And make it personal, you know. 
Uh -huh. Let it show. Let it, see, that's me, big and bold. I do too. <laughs> yes, I love that. But too. my husband is a little more understated, and it was just a little overwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> I can understand. Well, thank you so much for being with us. No I appreciate problem. you coming. Thanks very much.